What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmas Wrestling Recap. With Bash at the Berlin just a few weeks away, we had some bashes and brawls on Monday Night Raw tonight. It was just filled with them. Oh, uh, dude, I'll see what you did there. Bash in Berlin, Germany. There's somebody saying something that they're going to be going to Italy. If they go to Italy, that would be absolutely massive. Oh, for sure. I don't doubt they wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? I, I really think that they would. They opened it, it off with a bang, and, and they ended it, of course, with a bang. The structure to Raw has been different lately, but it's been intriguing. Some new camera work here and there. Um, The way that, you know, the hard cam, I think it's a little bit lower. It's a little bit more eye level with the ring, and it's just comfortable to watch. The way they open it up, man, it was good here. Oh, so good. Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley kicking the show off with Liv on Dom's side, man. Dom just getting booed out of the building. Rhea Ripley explaining that, you know, her heartfelt emotions after Dom turned on her at SummerSlam. These two just had a great battle on the microphone of words. And wouldn't you know it, Rhea's buddy, Damian Priest, comes out to back her up as Dom and Damian just brawled throughout the arena to open the show. Absolutely awesome here. You know what I mean? And Damian Priest, he's taking on uh, Carlito. And then this is actually kind of more of an impromptu match here. And Priest here looks good. You know what I mean? I'll just say, what does Carlito have with, like, his spot in the Judgment Day, I guess? I don't know. It's just, like, there's no personality to me with him in the Judgment Day. It's just not saying it isn't working, but there's just something that's missing. Yeah, I completely agree you know? with you. This match 100%. devolved into chaos, man. <laughs> With uh, Carlito ending up losing to Damian Priest, Rhea Ripley just entered the ring. Dom tried to do a frog splash, got caught by Damian, and Rhea Ripley went for the rip tied on Dom. But wouldn't you know, his girlfriend Liv Morgan saves the day. Bears save the day. Ugh, so good. But you know what? It, it is good, man. It, it's awesome. And I like what they're doing with this Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest stuff. Odyssey Jones, first in ring match here. Taking on a guy named Vincent Wine. Apparently, I think this guy is at the Performance Center in Orlando right now. Uh, New Day was by uh, Odyssey Jones' side. Xavier Woods still hesitant, right? Um, yes. Jones defeated Wine here. But it ended with uh, the final testament showing up, accusing Kingston and Xavier Woods and, and all that stuff. Xavier, is he going to turn against New Day? They have a six-man tag match. I think it's going to happen, man. These matches and segments just flowed throughout the night. Up next, we saw a number one contenders qualifier match for the tag team titles. The new faction that I cannot really? remember the name. I'm just going to stick oh. with the forehead gang because I like that name better. Versus yeah. Image Control, man. Pure Fusion Collection. How does that sound to you? Oh, boy. How does that sound? Match actually ends up in a no contest. Zoe Stark super kick Alba Fire ringside here. EO Sky was preparing for the win here for her team, but Dawn interfered to cause a disqualification. Cool. You know, it didn't do anything too crazy, but uh, let's talk about this, this new trios tag team. One more time, Kyle. Pure Fusion Collective. Uh, the Forehead yeah. Gang. Okay. Yeah, let, let's just stick with the Forehead Gang. Good. Tag team action just kept coming hot and heavy. Alpha though. Academy American yeah. made hot and heavy, man. You Take said it. it tag away. team action. That's next here. Poor Gable. He's not here tonight. He's actually in London for the Olympics. American made defeated to, uh, Alpha Academy here. Ivy Nile attacked Maxine. And a uh, distraction here allowed the Creeds to pick up the win. Coolio there. Coolio here. Randy Orton and Gunther. Uh, well, we're waiting for Randy Orton standing ovation from the crowd. Crowd absolutely loves the dude, nonetheless. You know what I mean? He's going to hopefully be that 15 time world champion at Bash in Berlin. Gunther comes out, they exchange words. Randy Orton, he hits an RKO after Drew McIntyre comes out. Orton kind of uses a distraction to hit that RKO onto Gunther. Punk shows up attacking the holy hell out of Drew McIntyre, whipping him with a belt. Even got a backstage segment with him and uh, who is it, Kathy Kelly. It's far from over. There's some more going on, and I think we're going to see a strap match. Just throwing that out there. Oh, I think it's perfect, dude. This rivalry has gotten 
personal fists were flying, RKOs were flying. It was absolutely phenomenal. And I heard a crazy stat from Pat McAfee. Mm. Did you know that Gunther has held the championship 75% of the time that he's been in WWE? Oh, yeah, dude. It's insane. It's insane. Whenever you see him on TV, he's got a title. Mm. I think there's one person who deserves it. It's him. Big boy time, Bronson Reed versus The Miz. The way that this was set up was hilarious backstage with R2 saying he's facing. Well, I think it was supposed to be an uh, intercontinental championship match, but yeah. R2 screwed it all up. Uh, Miz just got obliterated here by like, what was it, 10 tsunamis? Uh, him and R2. And R2 got effed up too. I mean, this guy can't catch a break here. Poor Miz. They took a beating. Absolutely. Just like the forehead gang. <laughs> Let's go main event here. Absolutely. Braun Breaker, Sami Zayn. Two out of three falls match. Loki forgot that this was tonight. I thought it was like a regular match. I totally forgot it was a two out of three falls match. Sami Zayn was recovering here, man. Breaker looked like a fucking mad man. Oh. Two spears in a row. Sammy, he almost won with the crucifix, but didn't keep Breaker down. Didn't expect a win here from Sammy, unfortunately. One final spear in midair. Okay. Not just with Sammy standing in midair. The way that they're throwing Breaker into this, they're making him seem like a madhouse and kind of like what they're doing with Bronson Reed. But a really good show. Had ups and downs, of course, but. I'm stoked to see what's next for Priest and Ripley. And of course, the new women's trio of Zoe Stark and her forehead gang and Gunther and Orton. That's all I'm going to say. This was a highlight of night and uh, they're shining. Oh, shining bright. You could say that again. This is just a phenomenal, phenomenal show from start to finish. No empty space. They just mm-hmm. kept the hits coming hot and heavy. Let us know what you guys thought about the show. Always like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Until then, peace out. This has been Cosmet. Thanks for watching.